Okay, class, before we start our lesson, let us all stand up for the presence of our Lord. Daisy, can you please lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for the day. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, students. How are you today? Oh, you're doing good. That sounds great. Okay, before you sit down, please pick up the pieces of paper under your chair. And for checking of attendance, Mr. Secretary, who is absent today? Oh, wow. I am so impressed that no one is absent today. And it seems like you are all eager to learn new lesson today. And because of that, let us all give a nice talk to everyone. Are you ready now to listen? Very good. Let's recall first our classroom rules and regulation we have. And what are those classroom rules and regulation we have? First is do not be noisy. Second, do not go outside the classroom without the teacher's permission. And number three is raise your right hand if you want to answer or any clarification. Okay, are we clear now? That's good to know. Before we proceed to our discussion, who can give me the recap of our lesson yesterday? Yes, Anna. Thank you. We tackled about the short story. Very good. Another one. Yes, Cindy. Thank you so much. Yes, we also tackled about the parts of the story. Let's give them a round of applause. Very good, class. You still remember what we discussed yesterday. Before we proceed to our discussion, can I ask you some question? Here is my question. What is the name of your mother? Yes, Ivy. Your mother's name is Sisa. Okay, you may now sit. Another question. What is the name of your father? Yes, Siri. Your father's name is Juan. Next, what is the name of your brother? Yes, Anna. Good, you may now sit. Next is, what is the name of your sister? Yes, Mika. Good. Your sister's name is Lucia. Now, for the last question, who among you here has a baby within your family? Yes, Andrea. Oh, you have a baby brother. What is his name? Oh, Migi. That's good to know. Now, I have here some pictures, and what will you do is to analyze these pictures and describe this in one word. So, first is... Are you ready? Very good. I will give you three minutes to think about it. Okay, time is up. In one word, how can you describe these pictures? Yes, it is a family. Very good. Now, I have posted pictures here on the board. Let's match them with their names. This picture, where do you think it matches? Very good. It is for Pinky Finger. This picture, where do you think it matches? Good job. It is for Green Finger. Next picture, where do you think it matches? 
Yes, it is for index finger. Now, do you have any idea what is our lesson for today? Mm, we'll see. So now, before we proceed to our lesson, let me read our objective first. So at the end of the lesson, you will be able to note important details, make simple predictions, and draw conclusions. Now class, let us recite the poem. I will read first and you will follow. The title of, of the poem we are going to read is The Finger Family. Based on the title, what could be the poem all about? Write your answer on the board. Okay, very good. Now let us read the poem. The title of the poem is The Finger Family. Now, let us read the first paragraph. Spread your finger. Raise your one hand. Let us count and see how many they are. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. All your finger must be alive. Now, let us show your hand and name that so that everyone will understand how many finger are there in the point okay very good there are five finger before we read the next part of the point let us predict what would happen next let's find out where is the mother and the daddy's finger now this is the mother finger the index finger who cares about everyone and this is the father finger who has a lot of fun where did the mother's finger place okay very good this is the mother finger who plays in the big finger okay very good Daddy's finger is placed in the big finger. Do you love your mother and father? Okay, very good. Why? That's great. Now, what characteristic of your mother do you love? Okay, that's good. Are you ready to know who is the strongest and the healthiest member of the family in the poem? the finger family now let's find out who among you give the closest prediction to the question now before we read the third part of the point let us first try to guess what would happen next remember the mother finger is the pointer finger and the daddy finger is the big finger do you think is the index finger and the ring finger? Hmm. Let's find out by reading the third paragraph. Okay. This is my sister. Touch the middle finger. She helps and play. This is my brother's finger. Touch the ring finger. Strong and healthier finger. Now, where did the sister place? Okay, very good. Next, who placed in the ring finger? Very good. Brother placed in the ring finger. Now, what characteristic of sister and brother do you have? Okay, helpful, brave, and Kirby, that's great. Now, before we read the fourth part of the point, let us first try to guess what would happen next. Remember, the mother is the pointer finger and the father is the big finger. Then the sister is the middle finger and the brother is the ring finger. What 
do you think is the pinky finger? Okay, let's find out by reading the fourth paragraph of the poem. And this is the pigby. Touch the pinky finger. He's getting bigger by the day. He is the cutest among the members. He is the most loved among the family finger. Do you already know all the finger family play? Oh, that's great! Now, I have three questions that you need to answer. First, why is it important to have a family? Okay, very good. Next, what line of the poem do you like the most and why? Okay, very good. Do you like the line that? Mm, okay. Mother finger loves everyone and the daddy's finger have a lot of fun. Okay, very good. Now, the last question is, what is your real realization after reading this poem? Okay, very good. Now, let's move on to the following activities. So, let's count off one, two, three. I will read the direction for you to follow. So, group the class into three. Each group will draw a hand and put every member of the family with their own description. And this is the criteria for your activity. Effort, 20 points. Composition, 20 points. And creativity, 10 points. An overall total of 50 points. So I will give you 10 minutes to do this activity. Your timer starts now. So time is up. Finish or not finish, pass your activity now. Now, please prepare one whole sheet of paper and answer the following question. I will read the direction for you to follow. So identify what is being asked on the following question. Choose your answer on the box and write your answer on the space provided. So here are the questions. So I will give you five minutes to do this activity. Okay, time is up. Finish or not finish, pass your papers in front. So, for your assignment, please bring family pictures tomorrow. Okay, understand? Very good. So, goodbye class. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.